Hey y'all, down at the uh, Cleveland Cruising, and uh, I'm out cruising. <laughs> I'm out looking for stuff, and uh, just as I just as I'd given up hope on finding some nice Mopars, it's funny because I've run into a real pack of them. I shot three like this past week, and then one of the first cars I want to shoot here today, it's a '69 Roadrunner. It's a really really nice car. So, um, anyways, let me uh, get set up, and I'll bring that car to you. Brent, how are you, brother? Good. How are you doing today? Not too bad. Tell me a little bit about your hot rod. Uh, yeah, I bought it six months ago up in Toronto, Canada. Uh, it was a come out of an auction uh, from uh, RM Auction in 08. A uh, gentleman had bought it and brought it up to Canada, and I was up working a trade show, and a friend of mine told me by the name of Nathan, said, hey, this car is available, so I ended up really buying it sight unseen. And, uh, it was about uh, three or four weeks before I get before the car actually came down here, and um, uh, the guy offered me ten grand more just to kind of go away, and I didn't right. really want to go away. Sure, I wanted my car, and anyway, I told a friend of mine in Detroit to go and get it because I sold tow trucks, and he had a tow truck, and he went and got it for me. So okay. here it is today. Is it a numbers matching car? Uh, no, as far as I know, it's not. Um, but it is the same generation in, uh, engine that's in it. So it's a period it's correct. It's period correct. That's was it a was it a real? I guess that's a was that a 440 in it? No, a 426. 426. Four and a quarter horse. Did it have a 426 when the car yes, was it, built? It is an E74 code engine. Oh, okay. And it is one of one of one of uh, 15. I do have the original paper under the seat. Uh, with the way that it was built with a console and everything, and it is one of 15 and built okay. that way. Cool. Have you been into hot rods all your life? Yes, I had. That, if you notice, the, uh, one of my license plate it says bucket list. Right. Um, I uh, I had a '69 Coronet 440 with a six pack growing up, and I, I've always wanted one. And I I said, if, if I ever can afford one again, I'm going to get one. So. So you've been uh, into Mopars. I'm Mopar. I'm an old Mopar. Mopar car. I had a '69 Coronet. I had a '69 Swinger. I had a '69 Dart. Uh, and I've always been into Mopars. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Cool, well, man. Like I said, I'm out scouting before I even came around, and uh, I went and got my camera as soon as I saw this right. one. I was yeah, like, yeah, "This is car. this is a nice car. Thank you." Was it in this condition when you got it? Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, other than for the fact that it didn't have the battery, just a little, I've, I've tweaked it a little bit, just little things like. But the paint was straight and all paint, that. Yes, yes. It, it had a frame, uh, basically a frame off resto in, in, in 08 when it okay. went to the auction. RM actually did did it in 08. I wonder why the guy sold it. Uh, I think he had some money problems, as well, from my understanding, that uh, the leasing company ended up getting it back, and uh, that's how the guy ended up. It, the guy was actually offered thirty grand more than what I paid for the car. So now you say a leasing company? He wasn't leasing this car. Yeah, was what? Yes, he was. He actually gave it back to the leasing company for you know because it's a tax write-off, right? So, oh. so he ended up leasing it back. Well, he ended up losing his business and everything. So he got the car back. The leasing company says, "Hey, what am I going to do with it?" And I actually found out through a friend of mine, like, "Yeah, hey, this car is available," and they didn't know what to do with it. So I actually bought the car. I decided on see because my friend said it was straightness and that. So, like I said, it took three weeks. My car wasn't coming that back and he, he thought maybe hey I just might tell him hey just go ahead and keep the car oh, give no. me my money back. No, no, no. You know? so had paid, you seen pictures of it in that three weeks and all? Yeah, I, seen, still... I seen oh yeah I seen three pictures of it right. and, and I said okay that's where's my car and, and <laughs> I, I, kept, I kept calling the guy and he kept you know avoiding me avoiding me and I started getting worried because he, I didn't have no title he had all my money and I started really getting really concerned. So you were really holding your breath? Yes I was yeah. I, you know I, I, I paid a lot of money for the car right. and I, you know, I was really concerned so right. and so was my wife you know so. Well yeah. even if you I mean, if you stole the car, you'd still yeah. want your car. I, well, it's yes. a beautiful car. Yeah, yes. So even no matter what you paid no. for it, it wasn't about the money no. so much. It was, no, I got the car. It I was, found it. I it, want my car. It was a Hemi Roadrunner. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was, it was it was a Hemi Roadrunner, and that's what I really wanted one all my life, and I finally found one. And cool. Yeah, you know. Very, all right, very cool. Much. Let's take a walk around it. Sure, sure. Yeah. Is that uh, is that air cleaner? That's the way it would have been too. Yes. Uh huh. If you see that it has air grabber, this right. actually, it actually works. There's a cable on the inside that you pull, and then these actually open up and actually air induction. So it actually so it does, doesn't it doesn't feed through here. It feeds it, through these it, over it actually, here. Well, it actually feeds through here, but you see on the top on the top when you come back, it actually sucks oh, in through okay. through the top. I got you. Gets, it sucks in through through this big bath air breather in through right. here. Now you'll notice you see these wires. These are all dated numbers. In 1969, the car was was made in April of 1969, and the first quarter wires. So if you're an old Mopar guy, you'll see that these are 1969 coated wires that's on this no car. No kidding. Yep. Along with the coil, the coil, see Mopar coil. Right. So I mean, if you're into Mopar, and that's what you look for. You also look for these 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 up these little clamps, and right. you see everything's all clamped and everything. Right. The only thing that's actually been changed on the car has been the master cylinder. He put he put disc brakes on it when he took it back to Canada. 
because with these cars you couldn't stop them back in the old oh, days. No, no, got, yeah, you know, yeah. he put disc brakes and uh, and power steering. That's the only thing that's been changed from the, on this car from, in, from it being stock. And it's still got the beep beep horn. Oh yeah, here, yeah, let's hear that. that. You might as well start it while you're over there too. <laughs> yeah, if you got the key, I'm sure you got the keys. Yeah, if you don't mind, give it a start for us. Let me take a look around while you're doing that. Boy, that's a beautiful car, folks. Let me get back here, get the business end of it. It's got no cam or nothing like that in it. It's stock. Yeah. Man. That's, that's, that's the way it's stock. Everything is stock. It's not, it's, not, it's not been touched. No, I dream of the days to think when you would go to a, to a Dodge or a Chrysler dealership, buy this car, right? Sign paperwork, just like you're buying something in 2010, and here the salesman pulls it around back yeah. from back, and that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Well, when, when you bought a Hemi, there was absolutely no warranty. You bought it as is. You, you drove it off and you owned the car. There was absolutely no warranty on it. And it was about $3,200, but it, it was a $600 upcharge for the Hemi. Right. So that's why these cars are so rare. Right. Yeah, they actually, people wanted warranty back in the, you know, Imagine the, the that. Bucks. Yeah. They were selling you something and telling you they couldn't stand behind yes. it. Yeah, there's no warranty. You, you actually bought it as is. Can you open that door for me? Sure. It's an automatic car. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Now those aren't floor mats that came with it, are they? No, no, those are okay. aftermarket. All right. those in. Just had to check because I mean it could have been, you know. Uh, nope. It's still the original dash that's in it. Uh, like I said, it has seventy-two thousand original miles. It's still, wow. This is uh, yeah. Look at that seventy-two five fifty-two. Yep. Wow. Uh, original steering wheel. Original everything. steering wheel. Yep. Nothing. Nothing's been changed. You Let me know. Get over here so I can shoot from back there. Is that a speaker in the back seat? Nope, no speakers in the back. There's only one, one speaker in the in the front and, and it still works. Really? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's got the original radio and yeah, everything. The original in. radio is still in it and everything. No kidding. Yep. Man, yeah. what a nice car. Yep, yep. Is it, is it AMF, believe it or not. Wow, that <laughs> yeah. is hard to believe. Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, now, this paint here, I see a lot of them come through and they don't look as nice as that does. Is that how it should have been? Believe it or not, they actually paint this on first and then they paint the black. Okay. I just just read an article in Mopar on how they how they actually did this flat this flat black on these, and what they did is they actually did they actually painted the car for painted this on then and then they did the did the black. Did the shiny part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I, I thought maybe they did. They did, they did yeah, the you would think you they no, would do they, it. They didn't. That's would you uh, shoot the hood so I could do a walk around on it? Or no? What do you mean shoot the hood? You Shut it. I'm sorry. It's 90 degrees out here. I get yeah. I get tongue twisted. <laughs> Yeah. And it would have had those orange louvers in it too. Yeah, everything. Wow. Man, what a beautiful car. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's my baby, I'll tell you. I bet, man. Especially you, you went through some other Mopars that were nice, but this was probably the one you always really wanted. Yeah, it's kept the control, control drive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Holy smokes. Original wheels on it? No, no. The original wheels that came with the car, they were black with dog dish hubcaps. Oh, okay. The, those, those are they actually come off like on a satellite, I believe. Okay. They were an option that you could put on. Right. But eventually, I'm going to go back to stock. Right. Well, as long as you, you can know. get to stock, that's all yeah, that matters. You can, they're still available. They came with a red line, red line tire, like what you see in the spare. Right. You know. Man, look at that trunk's as shiny as the rest of it, isn't it? Well, this tree is dropping some stuff on it that, that we're sitting on. Yeah, but it's here. like 105 out here, yeah. so you know, the uh, the sap's probably worth it to try to stay a little bit cool so you don't pass out. Yeah. Man. Well, you're pretty straight. You, you take a look down the side. Yeah, no, I was born in a body shop, bro. That's yeah. how I look at one. I look yeah. at gaps and I look down the side of one, you know? Yeah, it, it, Color doesn't really matter to me, but. Um, you know how straight a car is very straight yeah now whoever did it did it did it right yeah did a good job and i was very impressed once i once i got it and seen it and they rolled it out of the trailer because i had remember i bought it the side i've seen it and i 
Good right, yeah, oh, I bet. Even pit I mean, I don't know. I think if I'd have got pictures of it, that would have just made my situation worse. Because I'd have been like, where's my car? Oh, I was freaking out. I bet. But brother, let me tell you what, that is one nine sixty nine Roadrunner. I sure appreciate you giving me time to look at it. Hey, thank you very much. No problem. Folks, there you go. Like I say, Hemis are, uh, or uh, Mopars are a little hard to find, but when I find a nice one, I'll sure shoot it. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I've enjoyed shooting it. Y'all have a good day. See ya.